Well, if this was uh, boxing or wrestling, they'd be in different weight categories, such as the size difference here, the six foot six, uh, 27, 28 stone Terry Hollands. Uh, let's convert that to kilos, about 175 up against uh, a man who's only 120 kilos at best. That's after a big meal. But this loading race, it's speed, it's explosive power. Paquet, if he can get it onto the high platform, he's gonna take the lead. 24, maybe 25 seconds, brilliant stuff there. And uh, Hollands, though he was a professional rugby player in the past, didn't quite keep up with uh, the younger, fitter, quicker man. Uh, I guess uh, Hollands would argue that it, it should be heavier, more strongman-like, but... Uh, well, uh, it's always good to test strength uh, in terms of uh, explosive power. Uh, that's what this is here, raw speed. Being able to manhandle still what are heavy weights. Now Felix against Baggett on the far side. This is an all British, even all English clash for that matter. North against South, and I'm afraid the South is losing right now. Baggett... Uh, Actually losing to the tyre, getting beaten by that for a second. His head jammed in there. Felix on with a second. 24 seconds looks uh, doubtful. That will get beaten. And Baggett hasn't quite got the technique yet, showing he's uh, a bit of a novice in the international scene. Now Felix, 29-81. That's just behind Hollands. Second quicker or so, and a bag it to finish off for just over 40 seconds. Oh, goodness, don't let it slip. And we'll never get it back up again. 45 59 in the end. He finishes this task. It was a struggle. Almost a stumble from Baggett. Yes, he uh, tried to jump at the end there. Finish it off uh, with a spring, but the legs didn't work. Well, here is a clash of the heavyweights, the 163 kilos of Martin Fuhr's mark. And uh, Mr. Eric from Texas, 35-year-old, coming uh, quite late to the scene of Strongman. Been up in powerlifting for years, he's certainly got the static strength, that's for sure. This will test his uh, mobility. Look at Fuhr's mark, though. My goodness me, he's uh, a role model for policemen. Uh, fitness and speed, the whole package. And it goes back for the final object, but uh, Forsmark, my goodness, that was uh, around about 24. 23 84 is uh, the final time. That's the lead so far. Uh, well, a little bit of confusion here. He doesn't know quite where to put it. And uh, in the end, he has to slam dunk it into the middle of the tyre. Extra effort for Eric. Experience, uh, good tire and sack management from Forsmark. Uh, had plenty of room in the end to just pop it on. Eric, that was hard work. So, uh, Martin, obviously you know it's fast. 24.3 by Jimmy to beat. 23.8. You've done it by half a second. Oh. I mean, you're a massive man, but my goodness, you can shift. Uh, what, what sport have you come from before, strongman? Uh, when I was younger, I played ice hockey for a couple of years, but I think my long legs face off in this kind of events. Uh, I can have long strides and yeah, it don't look fast, but it goes fast. It's extraordinary. And of course, you are a policeman, yeah. so you must be particularly good at catching bad guys. Uh, I, it's not very often I run after somebody, but when I do, I usually catch them. I bet you do. I wouldn't like to be the guy getting caught, that's for sure. It's here for the strongest cop in the world! Martin Very popular in these parts. So it's uh, Gustafsson. Very quick as well. Great stone lifter, actually. He's probably his forte up against Johannes Arsho on the left. Who uh, has not lost at Sweden's strongest man in the last seven years. Up the first one with speed and agility. Injuries have plagued our show. I don't want to curse him now, of course, but uh, it really has been a problem, especially at the World's Strongest Man finals. Now, 23 8 was it for Big Forsmark? 
Oh, it was very close indeed. 25-3-3 for Gustafsson, who was catching in the end there. Great finish by him. 24-32, I'm afraid our show is about half a second behind. And uh, double pumped his hands there. As when you finally take your hands off, the time stops. Uh, Johannes, if there's one man you don't mind losing to, it's Martin Forsmark, huh? No, I love Martin. He's a great guy. And uh, if I would lose to someone, it, it'd rather be him. Now, he is quite extraordinary at that. I mean, you're a very athletic man. And he's deceiving, isn't he? And many, many things, Martin. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a good comparison. It could maybe be, you know, like a big brown bear. <laughs> you know, they're one of the fastest animals on the planet. But it doesn't look like it when they run. Same with Martin. It's like a big brown bear. Fast as nothing else. Uh, any man who's got a size 63 head is a very big man. <laughs> so, hey, congratulations. One event to go. Yeah. Atlas Stones. I I'm not even going to risk it by asking you if you can win. I hope you win. It's your hometown. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. So, one event to go for our show to take the big show. He doesn't take the win here, though. Forsmark uh, claws back some points. A good result there by Hollins. Of course, Paquet in third position doing very well as well. He's up to fourth. Felix now down to third.